Thanks, Craig. Um, so I'm going to present the Project Developer Awards. Um, presenting with me will be Linda Adams, who is the chair of the Climate Action Reserve Board of Directors. Also presenting with me will be Amy Kessler, who is our director of Latin America um, for the Climate Action Reserve. Um, so our project developer awards, um, the purpose of it is really to recognize um, reserve project developer account holders um, that have conducted a significant amount of work. Um, under our program um, in the in the last calendar year. Um, sorry, I was just looking for where the awards were. Uh, <laughs> we probably should have checked that before we uh, got started. Um, but one of the things that the reserve um, does really um, value is. Um, project developers that are committed to the reserve and, and bringing their projects and trusting us and really putting in the work to um, create these high quality credits um, and implementing projects um, that are having impacts, um, greenhouse gas reduction impacts, but also um, co-benefits. And so we do um, recognize uh, project developers in two uh, different categories. One is most projects um, submitted and listed um, with our registry. And then our other category is um, most number of projects that are, are registered. So these projects have gone through verification and have been issued uh, credits. Um, and so I'm going to be handing it off to Amy to give a little bit more details about our, um, this year's awardees. Thank you, Kristen. Really excited this year uh, that both the most projects listed and most projects registered go to two project developers from Mexico. They both are relatively newer project developers. Um, I think they've really grown in the last couple of years primarily and have done an amazing job developing uh, forest projects in Mexico. So the first award goes to Canopia Carbon who had the most uh, projects listed. Jose, if you'd like to come up. Jose Castro from Canopia Carbon. Thank you. Um, Canopia Carbon listed eight Mexico forest projects in the past year uh, in the states primarily in Quintana Roo, Yucatan, and Oaxaca. Thank you. The next recipient is for the most projects registered. This goes to Territorios Rurales Sostenibles. They registered, sorry, did I say listed? Registered. <laughs> they registered 14 projects in the past year, all under the Mexico Forest Protocol in the states of Mexico and Michoacan. Unfortunately, they could not be here with us today, um, but we'll be sending them their award. Um, and congratulations to Territorios or Territoriales Rurales Sostenibles. Thank you. 